introduction to unit testing baby am i excited about this there's not a lot of great content out there to really help junior level engineers go to mid or senior and introduction to unit testing also clean code course are items that i think are really needed a lot of great content for like aspiring engineers or people trying to get to that junior level but the level up your code is what this is all about and so we're gonna get you going with that i remember very fondly although not at the time <laughs> having my lead be like yo man how are you gonna test your code and me being like listen here dog you're gonna sit here i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna click through and you're gonna see it works just like i know it does and he's like well okay but uh hold up padawan and let me tell you a little something and um that was my introduction to unit testing so before we jump into that let me tell you a little bit about myself and why i might be the right guy to teach you this course um a little bit about me i'm a self-taught software engineer, use great platforms like Scrimba, Free Code Camp, and all the other ones to teach myself development. And uh, I've been working in about five years now and having a blast. I also have a software YouTube channel where I share my uh, thoughts and build some projects and things like that. And uh, due to my sort of self-taught nature, I've really gotten into the education space. So I build courses on platforms like Scrimba, which I think I have the most courses on at this point in time, as well as like Udemy and LinkedIn Learning and a couple other places. And then because I like to share my thoughts, I have a podcast with my co-host, Eric Hanchett, called Self-Taught or Not. That's a lot of fun. And I work full time uh, when I'm not working on uh, side projects, I guess, as a front end engineer with Amazon. And then we have to the right here, my favorite portrait. um, So you can see how serious I am about unit testing. Um, So why unit testing, right? Before you actually learn what's in the course, what, why, like, why, why do you care? Well, at the end of the day, it increases our code confidence and this is everything. And what I mean by that is there's no better way to really say, hey, my code does what it what I think it does, then actually have a test that showcases that. And by doing that, when we go and we edit the code, we can be more confident that we didn't break anything. We don't have to fully regression check the app. We can check that like, oh, cool. None of our tests broke. I guess nothing happened. Oh, I, I fixed a bug. Let me write a new test for this specific bug that came in here. And I, have, I can have confidence that we're not going to fix that bug a third or fourth time. It also supports a, a more advanced sort of testing um, paradigm that's part of agile development called test-driven development. Now, we're not going to go into uh, TDD in this course, but I did want to bring it up because it is something that you may see from time to time. And, and, you know, unit testing is a core fundamental of that. It's an in-demand skill. It's a skill that when you're going from junior to mid or mid to senior, and you're trying to figure out why you may not be getting those roles or why maybe your salary isn't increasing as much as you'd like it to as you start your career. Um, Unit testing is one of the items that people look for. It's one of the items that will, at times, and just testing in general, eliminate you from the conversation if they don't want to take the time to upskill you. And it's not that complicated. It's really something that once you go through this course, you'll have an idea of exactly what it is and how to utilize it. But more than anything else, it makes my life and hopefully your life easier when I can have confidence that someone didn't break a piece of the code base when they're pushing it up, so that, that someone, by the way, could be me. That makes that gives me the confidence that I didn't break anything. It just is something that lowers your stress, lowers your anxiety, and allows you to deliver faster results as well. So I want you to think about this course in the essence of fundamentals of unit testing. I don't want you to go and try to memorize the Jasmine framework that's in here or library because those change over time. You know, I want you to understand that you're going to be setting tests up. You're going to be grouping tests. You're going to be writing test cases. So this is some of the sort of the, I want you to really, as we go through this course, understand fundamentals and not just try to memorize things. We'll be using the Jasmine testing framework, as I mentioned It is uh, one of the more popular ones. Jest has been slowly taking a little bit of the market share. Jest is fantastic. And um, Jest is based off Jasmine. You have to understand, our tests are going to test the logic. It's not necessarily... There are UI tests and integration tests where someone's going to... You're going to automate and click through. And usually quality assurance will do that. But in unit testing, you're really going to test the -the behind-the-scenes logic that it does what you think it's going to do. And we're going to be using Jasmine because it's simple. It's very straightforward. Not a lot of hooting and hollering and all this complexity is very straightforward and it's a it's a good introductory uh library and framework as we go 
we're going to talk a bit about the three A's. It's technically like 3.5, but I don't want to complicate things. <laughs> um, that's the arrange, act, assert pattern. Typically, as we go and we write our unit test, we're going to arrange the state of the data, right? The state of the app is at this. And when I act, when I whatever it is that I'm actually testing, whether it's open, you know, clicking something open, I'm going to assert that it, in fact, opened in this state. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that in the course. This is uh, something that's important. But once you kind of see the flow and the setup of our test, the three A's, the arrange, act, assert is going to make a lot of sense. You know, as we go through our course, we're going to be talking about that grouping, test cases. We're going to be de how to debug your test, right? Because now we're writing code that tests our code. And sometimes we have to debug it with, you know, focus and skip. We're going to talk, talk about spies and creating mocks. And we're going to have challenges and a final project and a lot of cool stuff and uh, much, much more. So with that being said, let's jump into it. I hope you're excited and I hope you're ready to write some tests.